Well, hey there, folks. We're under my 08 Jeep uh, JK Rubicon Unlimited. Let me turn this back on here. The display just went out. Okay, so let's see if this could read that LCD display. I'm not sure if that's picking it up or not. But we're at 5 degrees of... Uh, caster. I'm really trying to... Hopefully that shows it. I can't see if it shows it in the viewfinder or not. But you'll have to believe me. That's 5 degrees. And you can see where I'm going right off the top of the uh, the uh, ball joint there. Now you do have to make sure this is parallel to the tire because as you turn it, you know, you're going to see different degrees. You can also go right here on the bottom of the C part right here, you can see these two flat surfaces. You can run a straight edge across and then put your angle finder under it. And you can do it the same way there. But basically what you want to do is the top ball joint you want to be further back than the front. So as you can see, you know, it's at an angle. Now when you do a lift, let's say you do a three and a half, four inch lift, something big, and you don't correct the geometry it, it's going to turn it's going to turn the axle this way you know and it's going to like line these up and then you're not going to have the proper amount of caster and then you're going to get that flighty feeling when you're going down the road and you know it's not going to want to drive straight there's going to be other problems they say you can really easily get death wobble that way i've never experienced it but uh you know they say that's definitely one of the biggest reasons you can't get death wobble let, let me show you the other side. Okay, folks, so here we are on the other side, which is the driver's side. Hopefully that display is coming through. But we've got five degrees of uh, caster there as well. Once again, it's, it's the axle and the C, the top angled backward. That's what you're going for. And I'm not sure, but from reading and watching videos, they say these are usually set up with about four degrees from the factory. And they say a lot of the off-road guys like to go with six or more. Um, I figured I'd split it and go five. It seems to work really well. It goes down the road super straight. It has a really planet filling. You know, when you make a right, right or left-hand turn, the steering wheel automatically comes back to center. You know, there's, there's no problems. It's really good like this. And, um, you know, I also want to point out your suspension components have to be in good condition. You know, all your, your ball joints and your, you know, everything else on here, if something's damaged, you, you have to correct it so the components are tight. And uh, even, even my wheel bearings are brand new on here, so everything's super tight on here. Now, these are your lower control arms, and that's what's going to matter right here when you, when you do a lift. So let me explain this to you here. All right, so these are going to be the same on both sides. These are just the factory 08 Rubicon lower control arms. They're not adjustable. It's what came from the factory. Now this does have a three and a half inch lift. So these have to be able to be adjustable somehow to correct the caster angle. That's where these brackets come in. These are relocation brackets. They came with a lift kit. And as you can see, it originally went up here. See, this bracket lowered it and changed the geometry of things. And also, they come with these cam bolts, these cam washers. So, as you turn this, the washer turns with it, and it'll cam out different directions to push the, push the uh, control arm forward or backward, so you can adjust where the axle sits up there, and you can also adjust for that caster angle. Now, this is where it was before I adjusted on this side. This is where it is now. Hardly any adjustment at all on this side. And uh, where I measured, just to confirm everything was also all right, measured from the axle tube on both sides to exactly here on both sides. And I've got them both dead even. And at that measurement, the caster is five degrees on each side. So let me show you the other side. Okay, here we are on the other side, which is the passenger side. And you can see on here, I marked it before I did anything. 
there's the old mark there's the new mark so this one was was out of whack quite a bit and after adjusting this to get the five degrees and also measuring from the axle tube to the same exact point we're dead on both sides so that's how I can adjust them on here it has the relocation bracket with with the cam bolt and that allows for you could see it allows for basically this quite a bit of adjustment now you can also you know go fancy and buy the adjustable lower control arms and they can have a jam nut on each side with threads you loosen the jam nuts you can turn the whole tube and adjust it or if they only have a, a you know an adjustable in on one 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 side you would take the bolt out drop it down adjust it to where you need it with the threads put it back on test it you know um, either one will work you can go with adjustable control arms or you can go with this set up here either one's going to do the job for you um, this this adjusted everything perfect I'm real happy with it goes down the road great but you you could see what would happen if these weren't on here and if they were still in the factory location they're, they're not going to be long enough and when you put that lift on it, it's going to pull these back on the bottom and if you pull the, the bottom back it's going to cause the front to go forward and you're going to lose all your caster and that's when you start having problems so I read on the forums and, and guys love to bash rough country lift kits you know they're, they're terrible you can't drive down the road on them throw them in the garbage no guys this has a rough country kit it's a correct kit it came with everything to relocate everything and, and, and correct the the geometry it, it drives phenomenal I had a rough country lift kit on my last Jeep which is my TJ thing drove perfect there wasn't a problem with it at all um, even some of the other lift kits the more expensive ones guys will bash them oh I can't drive it it's all over the road it has death wobble the word I keep hearing is the steering feels flighty it doesn't feel planted you know there, there's no confidence driving down the highway I'm all over the road it's not your lift kit guys it's because you don't have things adjusted right or you don't have a way to adjust your your lower control arms you can't just go and put a, a four inch lift kit on one of these and you know do it just by adding springs and and longer uh, uh, sway bar in links and you know call it a day I mean you can but you're not gonna drive without you know holding on for dear life and trying to keep it in the lane you have to have the geometry correct and when you lift something that high everything changes so it's really important to have lower adjustable control arms or or like you know this this least ex, uh, less expensive set up here which does the same thing you know I'm not a hardcore off-road rock crawler I don't need some you know big beefy lower control arms if I did do that and I was gonna bash this thing up you bet I'd have them on here but I don't need them this this system works great but you need one or the other to correct your geometry of the angle of the axle and the caster and you also need the same thing with the uh, uh, oh what's it called the uh, um, I don't know if it's a track bar, the dilly in the front there that keeps the axle centered from side to side. Forgive me, I forget the name of it. But um, you have to have either a bracket that will adjust the geometry that, that's pre-done for your lift size, or you have to have an adjustable bar so you can center the axle. Because as you lift it, that's also going to change. So it's, it's really important to have all the little things to, to make everything uh, work right and I just wanted to show that hopefully this helps some folks out there I measured this one too from the axle tube to the same exact location and we're dead on and the caster is exactly at five degrees and she goes down the road perfect and once again it's towed in with about between a uh, like like an eighth of an inch of tow in and it's absolutely perfect um, it's important though you know all your bolts need to be tight all your ball joints you know all your your pitman arm your everything on your steering it all has to be tight meaning that you know the components can't be all wore out and sloppy and if they are you have to replace it or you can have problems when you're driving on the road 
All right, folks, you all be good. Hope this helps someone out there.